Okay, in this video, I am going to talk about the how to create a report using a business intelligence. Okay, start it, start your Visual Studio, and let's go into the business intelligence. Okay, and let's actually select the file, select new, select a project, and wait for some time. And there is our report server project wizard. Now remember that thing. Whenever you are using a project wizard, it is not going to give you all the details to actually work it out. Okay, so you have to be in initial stages. If you want a fast report, a simple report, you can always use a pro report server project report. Otherwise, you have to do it manually. Okay, in this case, I am going to because this is the first report with the business inter business intelligence. So I am going to use this thing, and again, actually, I am going to move to the Okay, part of it. I'm not going to change any name, nothing doing. I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'm going to move to the next part. And there we are. You are we are going to use the next part of it. Uh, we are waiting for the next part to come up, and it will be coming up in uh, this thing. And there is our report wizard. Here it is, and as you can see, I'm go just going to move move it to the next one. As you see. Here it is. I'm going to select the edit option. Okay, here it is going to ask me server name. I can choose the server name from here. And I have two servers with representing the SQL server. It is going to show up the name. Here it is. I've selected one of them. Again, I'm going to go to the now. I'm going to select the database down here. Once I go and select the database down, name will appear here. I'm going to choose the Northwind database, and because I know it exists, otherwise you can always test the connection. Once I test the connection, it will say test is successful or succeeded. Okay, test connection succeeded. Click OK, and then we click OK, and we move it to the next screen, and then we are again to the next. And let's make it very simple. Life make it make life very simple. We are using a report, and here is our query builder. If you have a query already with you, you can put it, paste it here, right direct here. I'm just going to type a query here. I'm not going to create a build a query. I'm just going to say start select start from the customer, and I'm going to move on. And it will as when I type select start from the customer, you will see that it represent actually it will replace the star with the column name. And I am going to select only few of the column name, and going to deselect the rest of the customer. And I am going to press, click OK. If the table exists, it will going to show up the field. If doesn't, it will give me an error. Maybe if it is, let's hold on. Okay, I did not. Means there was a problem. Let's go to the query builder again, and maybe there's a customers, and I'm going to select okay. And this time it should show me the fields. As you can see, again, I am in shown all the name of the fields. But if I wanted to select it, still I could have deselected it. And here I am going to actually choose a few fields rather than all of them. I don't want the contact title. I just don't want the address. And I am going to select few. And I don't want the region. I don't want the postal code. I will leave the country because I want to group it by the country. And I don't want the fax either. I will leave the phone. I want the phone number because this is a contact list. So far, so good. Okay, and I'm going to move to the next. Let's click OK, and we are in the next option with the fewer fields. And we are going to click next. And we this time I'm going to select the tabular. Moving to the tabular. Now this is a very beautiful thing. And if you want to put something on the page, you can put the sad thing on the drag it to the page. This thing. In this case, I'm going to drag the country to the group one, and leave it here. 
and the rest I can actually select from the top and shift click down and drag it to the details here we are and as you can see uh, there is the report that is showing I can move something up and down in this case I can select this customer name and I'm going to move it up so far so good next step again there is a block again there is a different table layout okay here it is again I am going to there is no soap tools there is no enable drills because there is no actually I am not creating a report with the any numeratic fields next here is the different way of slate forest again the style only different colors I am going to select the oceanic and I am going to select next and this is how it is going to report server you can put it in a different folder wherever you want and I am going to select next I am going to leave it as it is because this is okay here it is a review and here is going to give me the report summary here it is it is going to is saying that here it is these are the details of the report and I am going to select finish here and we are going to just show it on the preview when I because I have selected uh, actually the preview option we are be going to see the report being previewed once the report is being generated here it is ok there we are this was a very simple report I have shown it to you how to create a report and how the other things you want to do here is one more thing you can do if you want again you can see that the country is Argentina, Austria, Belgium, Brazil all these have been actually grouped the customers in this has been grouped according to country and this is if you want they are if you want you can actually look into the design part of it by clicking on the design ok this is how the report is this is how it was designed and if you actually drag a little bit up or below the field you can see many other things there we are this is how the rows are grouped this is how it is showing up now let's preview it again and there are some other options that you would like to know here it is this allows you to export your report to the acrobat pdf excel word and many others mhtml xml all this format it works perfectly you can actually choose to export from here no problems at all now let's choose to put it to the acrobat PDF format here it is it is creating a PDF format and you will see that the report is being generated to the PDF that is acrobat PDF and then you can actually send this report to the wherever you want using a here we are and I am going to save this report as a report one dot PDF and the report has been saved the other thing is that if you want to change the how your report whether it, you want it to have a portrait way or whether you want to actually look your report with the landscape format here it is it is page setup you can go and change it here but different definitely you will have to have to change the print layout also not only with the screen layout but also with the print layout remember that thing you have to do it with the, both the places otherwise you if you do it at one place or the other place it will not show up here it is it will show up with the page setup it will allow you actually to look into the zoom or, sorry it will allow you to look into the portrait and the landscape do the same thing with going into the print layout also and it should work change it there also if you want to change out here it is the landscape if you want to change to the landscape here it is I am going to change up to the landscape here it is the printer option also you can go to the printer go to the properties 
go to the layout and there it is land landscape as you can see you have changed it to the both the places in the, from the single place itself so far so good okay i will leave it as as it is okay in this case i am not going to select the okay, i'm not going to say i'm going to say cancel and i'm going to come out if you want you can choose the landscape and you can print out in the landscape format landscape layout okay and that's it i would like to end it here as you can see this is report has been actually shown how to create a report